Welcome to Ballard Bluff. My husband Bobby and I recently moved to a new home overlooking the lake and one of our neighbors started calling it Ballard Bluff. When I was showing a friend some pictures of our new home and its huge kitchen, she suggested that I start teaching cooking classes. Now any of you who know me know that that is truly laughable. But then I started thinking about it. I could do some videos showing some of the things that I make when I do cook. I'm your host, Jane Ballard, and I'm going to share some easy recipes with you. Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a pork roast in the slow cooker. We're going to start with a oh, three, three and a half pound pork shoulder roast, and we're going to make a rub for that. Then we're going to sear it in a cast iron pan, and then we're going to put it in the slow cooker with some vegetables and cook it for, oh, uh, six to eight hours on uh, high. Um, maybe it's a little lower than that on high. I know it's 10 to 12 hours on low, which is what I prefer to do. So we're going to start with a rub for the uh, uh, pork shoulder. So that is a quarter cup of brown sugar. To that, we've added a tablespoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of coarse salt, and then there's another teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of dried thyme, and a teaspoon of black pepper. We'll mix that all together, and that will be the rub. Okay, there we have our rub ready. We're going to bring our pork roast in and cover this thing with the rub. I'm just going to pour a good amount of it on top here. And then just really start pressing that in to the pork roast. Try to get it into all the little crooks and crannies. And then once we get this all nice and coated all over the place here, we're gonna put that in a skillet and brown all sides. All right, now we have our pork shoulder roast ready to go in the hot skillet. I've got two tablespoons of oil or so in the pan. I've used cast iron to get a good sear. And we're going to sear all four sides. And uh, I'll see if I can even get the ends to sear a little bit. Just set that right in that hot oil. We're going to let this cook on each side for two minutes. I have the pork roast seared on all sides. I have it in a roasting pot full of vegetables. We've got six potatoes and six carrots cut up into chunks, and I've also got an onion quartered and scattered through there. Uh, we've also got four cloves of garlic, just roughly chopped and added to the pot. On top of the pork roast, we have rosemary and thyme. You can get that fresh in your produce department. Just tie that up in a bundle, set right on top of the pork roast. Then to that, we're gonna add a liquid mixture. I've already pre-mixed this. We have a cup of red wine, a cup of chicken broth, and a quarter of a cup of balsamic vinegar. We're just gonna pour that all over. There we go. Now, this is ready to cook. It's gonna be in this uh, pot for six to eight hours. You'll probably wanna rotate the roast once, well, if you can. Uh, if you're working, don't worry about it. But if you get the chance to, flip the roast over once while you're uh, roasting it in the, in the pan. And like I said, it'll be about six to eight hours and then we'll have a delicious dinner. We'll see you after a while. Well, it's been a long eight hours and I think we have a beautiful looking roast. I set that lid down. Wow, doesn't that look great? 
Can't wait to try it. We're going to take it out and uh, shred it so I have pulled pork and then I'll make a gravy with some of the juices in here and then we'll give it a sample here in a little bit. See you in a bit. Okay, we have the pulled pork ready to put back in these juices, but first of all, to make the gravy, we've taken a tablespoon of cornstarch and microwaved it with about a half a cup of the juice from the pan. Now we're going to stir that back in this hot pan, and that will make the gravy. There we go, that's looking good. Now we're going to return the shredded pork, the pulled pork, back to the pan. That will keep that pork all nice and juicy. There we go. And we're going to put the vegetables back in it too. And we'll just make small splatter messes, right? That is looking good and we are just about ready to serve and give this a try. Well, since uh, it's nighttime now, I'm going to do my little sample here in the kitchen. We have the pork roast either sliced like a pork chop or something, or you can do it shredded either way. I've done both. And we've got the potatoes and carrots. Boy, that looks good. Let's give that a try. I want to thank you for watching the pork roast, pork roast episode. And I hope to see you again in some future videos. Until next time, I'm your host, Jane Ballard, and this is Ballard Bluff. Mm-hmm.